Now that you've finished your advanced point of interest flyby, it's a good time to learn about the Batch Waypoint tool. This is a very handy tool, it's available on Android and iOS, and only on the mobile app. And it allows you to make batch edits to your Waypoint settings. Now, what's quite important about this tool is for the first time it allows you to fly relative to the ground. Up until now, all altitude settings for Waypoints were referenced against where you took off. So if, for example, you set a waypoint to be 30 meters, it would fly 30 meters above where you took off. But now, with relative to ground, you can say to Lychee, well, fly at 20 meters above ground, no matter where I put a waypoint. And then Lychee will reference Google's elevation data and make sure that your waypoint is set in such a way that the drone flies at 20 meters above the ground. Now, this is very useful. Firstly, it can help you avoid collisions. And it can also allow you to fly and keep at a certain fixed separation from the ground. Anyway, let's go and look at the batch waypoint tool where I'll show you how to do relative to ground. Okay, here we have a five waypoint mission. Please notice all the waypoints are set to the same altitude of 30 meters. That'll just make it easier to follow the explanations. Then if you tap on the icon of the wrench next to the point of interest icon, that will cause a drop down. You get a pencil and then you get the batch editor tool. So the second option is the batch editor tool. And if you look on the bottom, you now have cancel to undo what you just done. You can select all. And then once you make your selection, the edit or delete become visible. So you can select, for example, waypoints one and two by just pressing on one and two, or you can push select all. So let's just say we select all, and then we can either delete or edit. Okay, we're going to edit. It then brings up the batch waypoint settings. Now the setting that I'm going to be focusing on for this lecture is altitude, but you can look at the other settings if you like. The default is home. So basically Lychee is causing the altitude to be relative to where you took off. And that's how Lychee's always worked. So for example, if you want to change the home relative altitude to, for example, 35 meters, you then press OK and you'll see that all of them are changed to 35 meters. So that's just a handy way to quickly make an adjustment. Then if we select all and edit and we go to current, what that'll do is whatever value we apply, let's just say for example 10, it'll add 10 meters to the current altitude. So the current altitude of all the waypoints was 35 and this will add 10. So it's a nice way to increase or decrease your existing waypoint altitude by a fixed value. Please note that on the left where it says altitude, you need to see the star button or the star icon before the setting takes effect. So the star is there. So if we push OK, everything should jump up by 10 meters. OK, great. So all the waypoints have gone from 35 to 45 meters. Now let's look at the last option, ground. OK, relative to ground. What we're going to do is we're going to make all the waypoints 30 meters relative to ground. So what Leachy is going to do is when we push OK, is it's going to apply a 30 meter separation between the waypoint and the ground elevation where that waypoint is. So waypoint 1 has got 30 as its value. Waypoint 2, which happens to be a little bit lower down, 6 meters lower in terms of elevation, has got 24, and so on. And what that means is if the drone flies from 1 to 2 all the way to 5, it will maintain 30 meter separation from the ground. Just a tip when using relative to ground, it's important to take off in a location that is the same ground elevation as where waypoint 1 is. In other words, place waypoint 1 at the expected takeoff location. Okay, so that's quite important. Just a word of caution, when using relative to ground, please bear in mind that Google's elevation data is not always 100% accurate. So just build in a little bit of extra room and you can always reduce it later. Maybe add on an extra 10 meters or so just in case Google's got it wrong, which it sometimes can do. Thanks for watching this lecture. I hope that you get value out of the Batch Waypoint tool. It's really very useful what we can do with these features. And I look forward to seeing you and seeing your footage on Facebook. Thank you.